This is the only snakeskin belt you'll ever see me wearing. This is Storm Shadow. It's a male Burmese python. You know, the Burmese python that gets a lot of attention these days because they have made a small population in South Florida. This is an albino berm, and I'm taking them out right now because I love giving the snakes exercise in a natural environment. So this guy obviously wouldn't survive very well in the wild because of his coloration. But he came to me from two exotic dancers who had him illegally here in Florida. They needed to put him someplace. I, of course, have the proper permits for this snake. He's been pit tagged as per Florida Fish and Wildlife regulations. So he's no longer dancing every night with the ladies. He's gonna be enjoying a nice slither. But as you're about to find out in this week's episode, big snakes are a big responsibility. You'll see what I'm talking about. As a pro bike rider, action sports announcer, and off-road adventurer, I'm always on the go. But for my true passion as a reptile breeder, I created my own sanctuary in South Florida. This is Camp Kenneth. Now I have to warn you, we were not prepared for the scene that would play out in this week's episode. So for the most part, it is raw and uncut. So we gotta move the snake into yeah, a, it's yeah. about a 16 foot reticulated python, but right. this is the snake that actually bit you. Yeah, this snake uh. actually, probably the worst snake bite I've ever had out of thousands that I've, that I've had. So yeah. So the snake's not tame, not saying it's mean, but it's, see the problem with this snake is whenever you open the cage, it goes into feeding response. So it immediately strikes it. Uh -huh. Whatever's close to it, because it thinks it's food. When was the last time the snake was actually out of that enclosure? Uh, about a month ago. Okay. And and how did it go a month ago? It went well because um, I only opened the slide door to let him slide into the next enclosure. I didn't have to handle him. Well, then it wasn't really out of the cage, man. What are you trying Not to tell really, me? Not really, no. Well, but when was the last time this entire snake's body was out of that room? Uh, since he was a hatchling. The only time he was out of the cage when he was wrapped around me with his jaws around my arm and it took four people to get him off me. Yeah, all right. I'm hopeful you don't have to grab him by the head. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? You're hoping you don't have to grab him by the head. Don't you want to secure the head so it doesn't bite us? If we could do it without doing that, that'd be nice. That's all I want to determine his mood. Uh -huh. if, it's, if it's obvious that he's going to be pissed off about we're doing something, we're going to have to grab him. And, and we, you want to do that, right? I, I want to do whatever I can to help you. I would rather you did it. <laughs> Why me? Because I'm just letting you know that. All right, so, but. Great. So the last time Fred let this thing out of the cage, it almost killed him. This massive retic is no joke. So we're going to need some help moving it to the new enclosure. And to do that, we enlisted Fred's neighbor, Chad, and Fred's grandson, Fred the Third. I'll be the one controlling the head, which is obviously the most dangerous position. Lucky me. Fred's grandson, who's a big guy, will be handling the tail end, which also has some not so pleasant consequences, as you'll see. All right, so we got, you know, Chad and... Your grandson, Freddie, are going to help us here. Right. All right, because that's four people. The snake's about yeah. 16 feet, you said? His I head's think. right there. Uh oh. And he's just pretty calm right now. We're going to, um, <clears throat> let me first determine what kind of mood he's in. <sighs> that's, a big, that. that's a big, that's a big, big reticulated python, dude. All you right, see, so he's skittish. He's, so he's, he's skittish. He's not used to being messed with. Um, so oh, let me ask you this. Wait, aren't you going to, hold on, hold on, I want a plan, I need a plan. We're going to, first, do we want to grab him by the head? Because he's not going to let us just I, grab his body. I'm reasonably sure we're going to have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure too. Um, I'm no python expert, but we're going to have to actually. But, um, <sighs> okay. Once, once he's grabbed, everybody has to reach in and get a part of his body. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Well, let me, should I try and grab him or what? Well. Hold on one second. My cameraman asked a question. What that? My okay right here. Fine, yeah, but you, you keep backing up, for God's yeah, sakes. Like, you keep leaving. No, he's, he's not coming at you. <laughs> All right. I'm a lefty. I'm a lefty. I'm not in a really good place because I'm a lefty. All right. Now, you tell me when you're ready. Because when you grab... Listen, he's going to freak out as soon as yes, I grab he him. Yeah, he is going to freak out. But is everyone else going to jump on him? Because I can't let go of him. Put that hook down. All right, so there's, a, there's a snakehead bite. I, I'll get on this side. I want to get on this side. 
He's looking right at me. Try and pull him Let back. Me just see something. This might be a whole lot of nothing, man, to be perfect. Might be. He's, he's... he's hissing. Why am I? Fred, probably slide, your, slide your hand up and grab him. All right. Easily and underneath. 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 Do you grab? Wait, hold time out. I never grabbed a 16 foot reticulated python. Do you grab it underneath? Yeah. Underneath. I, so I, I'm going to grab him like this. Just slide your hand under like this. Okay. All right. Slide him. Up to his neck and then slowly. Close around him, him so he doesn't think we're like attacking him. Oh, I went the wrong way. There oh. you go, stay on this. Yeah, all right, now I ah. got him. Dude. Oh, right. shit. Oh, right. shit. Oh, right. we go. got snakey. <laughs> oh, that is a strong snake. Are you serious? Ah. Holy shit. Someone's got to get. Uh, get out the door. All right, out the door. Dude, guys, seriously, it's not funny, man. This is no joke. This is no joke. I am seriously in trouble. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, get on the yard. Oh god, he's strong. He's strong. He's strong. He's strong. Hold on, guys. You guys gotta do a better. Seriously, do a freaking better job of holding this snake. Oh my god. Yo, this is really tense, man. This snake is tense. Oh. Hi. Okay, you have no idea how hard it is to hold this thing's head. There's no way. All right. Oh my God, this thing is powerful, man. You all right? This is sketchy. Yeah, because once they build up like that, that's how he, he's torquing. All right, he's wrapping me. He's wrapping me. I'm All right, hang on, but switch. Hurry up. He's wrapping me. You got him? He's wrapping me. Oh my God. That was hardcore. Whatever, it's just pee, man. He's gonna bite you. All right. All right, take a break for a minute. Well, I hope you don't have to go out in a minute. You're gonna need a shower. Um, seriously, this thing is powerful, man. This thing is powerful. This is not a pet. There's no way this is a pet. It does not wanna be pet. Okay, do you wanna? Yeah. What do we want to do? Screw it. We got him this far. Let's do the whole thing, dude. Right. Let's do the whole thing. Okay. Hold right. on. Uh, uh, someone I open that. Can't. Open that cage. Right. No, 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 I got it. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. No, I think so. Go. Whew. All right. Just hold on, Fred. Grab it. Fred, I need, I need help, but someone's, I kind of can't walk, Fred. Come on, come on. Fred, grab his, I got him. all right. Holy, now wait, wait, hold on. He's letting him go. Things loose. Oh my word. Definitely. Let's let him get used to his new enclosure. Okay? Buddy? Good work. Oh, God. Always an adventure in my buddy Fred Grunwald's house. That retic was no joke. It made for a pretty funny situation. But in all seriousness, that could have been very dangerous had I been all alone. In fact, as you've heard in the story, Fred almost bit the farm with that snake. Luckily for me, Storm Shadow's a male Burmese python, not gonna get that big, because if he did, I'd have to enlist a lot more help here at Camp Ken. Like I said, big snakes, big responsibility.